Okay, guys, what is going on? Last episode, we read my friend Alex's story because I wanted to give him recognition that he also has a story in that book, in this book too, why everything you know about Jameson is a lie. But now we're getting into the good stuff. We're getting into the story of Jameson. The dedication goes out to my family, Chance, Justin, and Keenan. You guys are my family. That was the dedication I came up with. Uh, the table of contents, starting on page 9, why everything you know about Jameson is a lie. And it goes for 60 pages. Acknowledgements, I would like to thank me, myself, and I. Uh... Then the introduction to the story says, no complaints, just get ready, I'm being dead serious. That is what it says. Turn the page again. Now, the joke is, is that it runs for 60, it goes for 60 pages, and we'll probably make like 3 or 4 videos out of this, we'll probably read like 5 pages at a time. And chapter 1, they call one chapter, chapter 1 is Jameson. Why everything you know about Jameson is a lie. Jameson used to wake up in the morning with a smile on his face. Jameson no longer went to school. Those dreams faded away before the 11th grade ended. Jameson had simply failed, so he tried to help his mother as much as he could, and he never talked back to her. He got dressed like he usually did, and walked out into the living room. His mom made the usual oatmeal that was outdated. Money was hard, so no one complained about food. It was the fear that you didn't know when the next time you would see food on the table. So without asking any questions, he ate it all. Just like every other day, she picked up the bowls and put them in the sink. A bill laid flat on the table. It scared Jameson to even look at that bill. After breakfast, it was time for Jameson to leave to what he calls his job. There was one thing he didn't tell his mom, but after a while, his mom finally noticed that he leaves every day at the same time. His, uh, sometimes he gets home Sometimes Jameson got home with wads of cash. Other times he gets home. I just fell completely with that paragraph. Sometimes Jameson would get home with blood on his hand. Other times he would get home with wads of cash. His mom didn't complain about the money because they both needed it. Next page. Jameson got up from the table. Got his shoes on and simply left. When he walked out the door, he always goes to the left. The thing about the direction was you'd be walking into danger. Jameson knew the risks of walking down the road to the left, but he was going to a place that used to be what he called the local park. But families disappeared from their homes because of financial issues. It didn't take very long for the place to become abandoned. Jameis had arrived at the park in no more than 15 minutes. This was the place where Jameson used to come with his mom when he was younger. It was a memory he would never let go because it was the last time she would do things with him. Plus, this park was close. It was in the area of his real jobs. He called them missions. I would call them favors. The real word for the job was basically was Jameson was a hitman. Oh my god, I did. Sorry to stop reading, but I did the biggest typo of my life. Oh, this is gonna piss me off. Oh, I don't know if you can see this, but it says it says hitman. Hitman. It says Hetman, not not H I T M A N. It says H E T H E. Oh my God! But okay, but he didn't like to use that word. 
It was simple. They reached out to Jameson when someone needed to go or wouldn't pay up. He had made a name for himself. But, then again, the money still wasn't good enough. So he needed to take a pay raise. When he was going to double fast. His phone was not new. Above all, nothing he owned was new. Jameson felt his SIM drop as the vibration of his phone went off in his pocket. To put it briefly, someone was calling to get rid of a problem. So without hesitation, he answered. The man on the phone had a chilling voice. And every word he spoke was quiet and soft. Hello, Jameson, the man said. Jameson replied, where and why do they need to go? First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Tyler, the man replied. Yes, I know who you are, Jameson said. Well, anyways, I need a man dead. He lives over by the river and in the old store, Tyler said. Okay, good thing that's not too far. What's his name? Chance, or, uh, Jameson said. Chance. After he said that, Jameson heard the phone. Click. He hung up. What bugged Jameson was that no one ever said... Sorry, what bugged Jameson was that no one ever really talked. They just told him the details... No questions asked. They only gave him where and the occasional why someone needed to go. Jameson left the park and headed east towards the old store. Ten minutes later, he arrived at the store. The place that had been run down and little activity, he knew the real entrance was around back. Oh my god, another typo. Oh... I don't even understand that. Someone must have messed with my computer or something. I'm not that dumb. There's a one after he. I don't. I don't see it. It's not right there. It's a one. There is a one in my book. As he walked. Okay, sorry. As I keep getting distracted. As he walked around the side, it's hard not to notice the scenery. Only a handful of cars were ever on this road, and they went faster than usual to get out faster. Around back, Jameson found nothing except a door that led inside. He knew he had to go in. He walked up to the door and knocked three times. <laughs> he heard someone yell, Come in. As he walked inside, he saw a man with with a name tag that read Keenan. I heard a lot about you, Jameson. Your name has traveled across the area, Keenan said. Okay, guys, you're probably wondering how he already, how this Keenan character already knew who Jameson was. This is not the beginning of a story. This is, it's picking up a day in Jameson's life. Jameson is a well-known person in the area. And people know what he looks like. I probably should have put that in the book. I realize that now. But people know who he is and know what he looks like. Okay, let's pick it back up. Really? It makes me happy. Another typo. I guess. Anyways. Another typo. That makes me happy, I guess. Anyways. I'm looking for a man named Chance, Jameson replied. Chance? My brother? Why are you looking for him? Keenan stuttered out. D -d 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 Next page. Someone says he need, he need to go. My god, typo. Someone says he needs to go. And you don't argue what the customer wants, James said softly. God, watch down on my brother. But I'm sorry to say he is not here, Keenan whispered. A voice traveled down the stairs and put a worried look on Keenan. 
Jameson made out the phrase, My novel is almost complete. Jameson didn't notice, but a grin rose widely across his face. Chance! Run! That was probably really bad and sketchy. Keenan yelled, You shut your mouth, Jameson said loudly. <laughs> Jameson started the trip up the stairs. A running river of thoughts going through his mind. Yet the only one that stuck out the most was turn around. The fuck did I just read? Uh, that paragraph does not make sense. He stood in front of the door for exactly ten seconds, and he opened it slowly. But Chance did not bother to check who it was. Hello, Chance, Jameson started. Who are you? Jameson, or Chance said quietly. Jameson noticed he was keeping one eye on the screen. On the screen was an animated show he really seemed attached to. I am Jameson. Jameson replied. Jameson? Chance stuttered. Sorry, J -j -j Jameson? Chance stuttered. I sense you know who I am, Jameson replied. There is not a period after that typo. Sorry. Why me? What did I do wrong? Chance replied. When someone calls and says they want me to get rid of someone, I never ask questions, Jameson said. Chance didn't even reply, because he knew there'd be no point in arguing. Jameson locked eyes with him. Neither one of them didn't move for about three minutes. Some intense eye contest, eye stand contest. Chance had stopped writing and also turned out the, turned the TV off. Um, let's talk about this, please. It doesn't need to be like this, Chance shouted. The door slammed open. Keenan had death in his eyes. Leave. Everything is already messed up. We just found that our mom and dad died last week. We are barely surviving on thing on our own things aren't good. And I'm not going to let you terrorize my brother, Keenan yelled. I put little or no time into editing this book because I got lazy. You can probably tell. I am truly sorry if I wish it could be different, but this is what needs to happen. You need to die. I need the money. Jameson replied. Jameson. Jameson only pulled out his gun when he needed to. He raised it towards Chance. Yet he couldn't pull the trigger. Maybe it was the fact that Jameson felt broken himself. Yet the only thing that proved to be breaking was silence. I'll make you a deal. If you stay low for a couple of weeks, I will leave right now, Jameson said. Thank you. I appreciate it. That means a lot, Chance replied. Do you... You know anyone by the name of Tyler? Jameson asked. Yes, I do. I borrowed money from him a while back, but I couldn't pay him, so he got angry, Chance said sadly. Stay away from him, Jameson said. Another typo. Jameson turned around before Chance had time to say thank you a million times. Jameson wasn't the type of person that had manners. He, he granted it. Yet he regretted it every time he should have used him. Before Jameson knew it, it was outside. It was cold and always the place was silent. He needed to head home because it was getting late. He ran home so he wouldn't run into trouble with the wrong people. He jogged. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to leave out that sentence because it doesn't need to be there. The sun was setting. It was always a good idea to be home before sunset in the Bronx. Before he knew it, he was at his walkway to his house. Jameson's house was old, 
It was not a good-looking house, but it worked for shelter. Jimison walked up the pathway and opened the door. His mom was crying. He knew the right thing, right thing to typo. So his right thing today was comfort her. Right thing to say was comfort her. What the fuck did I write that for? Yeah, he went straight to his room. After every day was over, Jameson jumped straight into bed. Before he knew it, he was asleep. I'm going to finish this page and then that'll be it for this video. Jameson woke up in the middle of the night to the sound of a window breaking. Jameson, Jameson grabbed the nearest item, which was a bat, and ran out into the living room. There, he found himself face to face with a tall man in a ski mask. Yet no one moved for a minute. Yet he should have tackled him. The man took off towards the kitchen, and Jameson ran towards him. But the man proved to be faster. Jameson couldn't catch him, so he turned around and ran back. A sentence didn't make sense. The man took off towards the kitchen, and Jameson ran towards him, but the man proved to be faster, so Jameson gave up and turned around. His mother was next to the window crying. Go to sleep, Mom, Jameson said. The boy, they both turned around and went back towards their beds, forgetting the problems that had just occurred. They both wanted to forget that day, and that's exactly what they did. They slept. The next morning finally came. I don't know, but that is underlined. The next morning finally came to Jameson, but he woke up to a phone call. This phone number was one he recognized before. Jameson answered. Jameson. Another typo. Jameson, if I want someone dead. Please actually do it. Please actually do it. And I won't have to send. And I won't have. And I won't have to send people to your house anymore. Tyler said fiercely. Sorry guys if I keep pausing. I'm not the best of writer. Well I'm a decent writer. I just don't take time to edit it. So when I pause. It's me trying to. Me trying to read what I wrote. Tyler said fiercely. I'm so sorry they didn't deserve to die. They only had each other, Jameson said. All Jameson heard was laughing for a straight minute. They killed their parents, and the younger one didn't pay back his debt, Tyler said. What? They said their parents were killed not too long ago. And only had each other, Jameson replied. They played you, fool. I am sorry, but you don't get paid. I have a mission for you, but you have to wait till this afternoon, Tyler replied. Okay, guys, that will be it for this video. That was the start of the book. That was the first couple of pages. Basically, if you were confused, he didn't kill a target. He didn't didn't kill uh, the targets assigned to him. So, uh, stay tuned for part three in the future.